I'm going to show you how to use GMGN software to buy and sell meme coins on Solana. It's actually really simple and easy to do, so let's get started. Go ahead and click the link in the description of this video, and it will take you right to GMGN to get started. First, you're going to click the connect button in the top right right here, and you're going to select to sign in with your wallet. We need to do that in order to be able to buy and sell. So click the phantom wallet if that's what you have. If you have a different wallet here, you can select that, but phantom's the most popular. It's probably what you're using. After we have signed in with our wallet, you'll notice here that the main page is the trending tab. On here, you can kind of look through and see all of the you know most popular tokens uh, on Solana for a given period of time. You can filter for you know most recent and so on and so forth. What we wanna do then is click meme, then we're gonna click pump, and then over here, we'll see newly created tokens on pump.fun, uh, ones that are about to hit the bonding curve or are likely to hit the bonding curve. And then we're also seeing tokens that have already completed. We can set up a filter here to only see tokens that have a, you know at least like a 25,000 market cap because otherwise they're probably dead. Um, that said, if we find one that we're interested in, we can click into it. When it comes to the chart, it usually will default to one hour. I typically will go by one second because it gives a more granular breakdown. And you can see things and buys and sells that happen within seconds. So this is what I usually will do. Either one second or one minute is usually how I will play. So I was already looking at this one earlier and the top 10 holders were about 30%. So about 10% of that has already been sold and dumped. And that right there tells me that the dev or some insiders are definitely dumping. If we go back, we pull up one of these coins. You could see the top 10 holders of this own 80%. This is huge, right? 80% of the token. This, this thing is a rug pull for sure. Um, I would, and at only 31 holders, I would not be touching this thing. Here we go. Here's one. So on the holders tab, if you scroll down here, you'll see the users that are shown in red are insiders, suspected insiders. Multiple holders share the same creation time, funding source, and transfer time. So these are users that are basically bundled. They bundled their transactions early on when they bought the token right after it went live. And so these are folks, and probably the same person actually, with multiple different wallets. If you see this, don't invest, typically. If you see this, it's a good sign that this is a scam, it's a rug pull, and you're probably gonna get screwed. Um, and so you see the top 10 hold 20% of the token, and that's probably those insiders. They're probably gonna dump on you. So I would not be buying that. Just a helpful tip. Anyways, let's go back to this token right here. The info at the top, this is super helpful for, for new users to know about because you can click here to see snipers. These are all the folks that bought immediately or very early on when the token launched and then sold quickly. If it's red, uh, you'll, you'll see how much they sold. If it's green, they're still holding. They actually haven't sold their holdings yet. So this is something also to be wary about. So that is the snipers tab. Blue chip, this is how many holders of this token are also holding quote unquote blue chip other tokens, right? Like not risky tokens, uh, a larger market cap token. So also this is, this percentage isn't really very realistic. So I usually don't go by this, go by this, but this is the percentage uh, likelihood that this is a rug pull. I mean, this is the amount of holders. And it also shows, you know, the quantity, the average quantity that a holder usually has is 0.28%. Uh, top 10 holders um, says 19. Earlier it was about 29. So they, they already dumped about 10%, which is sketchy. Uh, and so, yeah, this gives you a, a security audit right here. One thing I will mention though, is if you want a bit more granular breakdown, if a token is likely to be a scam or not, um, I'd recommend downloading the Token Spy Chrome extension. You can, you can just type this into your URL search bar, click the link below. It's tokenspy.org. Um, you click this to install the extension and install that. When you do have it installed over on GMGN, what you can do is just open it up and then input the contract address from the token here. So to copy the contract address, we would click this right here to do so. And then we would open up TokenSpy and we would paste the contract address, we would search. And then when it was done searching, 
it would give us a breakdown of the token. And so it tells us the liquidity, all this information right here. And also says the top four holders have 10.51%. So the data that's actually showing here is no longer even accurate. It's a bit outdated. This is real time. And this is why I recommend installing Token Spy as well, because this data will update much quicker before this does. Um, and so this is just a helpful, another helpful tool to really use in your tool belt. I can look at all the top holders here too and see the breakdown. So the top holder only has about 3.6%. They already dumped a bunch, but anyways, when you wanna actually buy a token, you'll just click the buy button here. You'd enter the amount that you wanted to buy, for example, like 0.5 sol, and then you would click to buy it. When you wanna sell, very straightforward. You click the sell button, you know, you can put 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%. And this is really helpful because it helps you quickly lock in profits, right? So if you wanna sell 50%, boom. That's then you sell 100%, boom. So just very easy tools to be able to use to buy and sell. Well, GMGN really are crushing it. And uh, it's, it's what I recommend you use.